Lesson 4 on variation, we are going to look at partial variation. Please make sure you read my ebook I wrote on partial variation. It simplifies the topic. So it involves two constants, H and K, and also the use of simultaneous equations to find the value of the constants. For example, here x is partly constant and partly varies as y part a express y in terms of express x in terms of y and the constants h and k so since we said that there is use of two constants so let's write the equation y is partly constant so it's partly constant and here it means we are adding partly varies so we put two constants here, h here, which is an independent, which is said to be partly constant, and partly varies as y is another constant times y. So this will be the relationship of a partial variation. On part b, let's look on part b. Given that x is equal to 1 when y is equal to 8, and that x is equal to 3 when y is equal to find the values of h and k you can see that here we have two sets or two conditions both for x and y so this will result in simultaneous equations so let's use them the first condition is when x is x x is equal to 1 when y is equal to 8 and the second condition x is equal to 3 when y is equal to 12 let's write that is uh, equations so this was our relationship in part a Therefore, x is equal to 1 when y is equal to 8, x is equal to 3 when y is equal to 12. So we write it like this. So this becomes our equation. So to avoid confusion, take the equation with large values and put it on top because we are going to solve this through elimination. So this second equation becomes the first. First equation becomes the last. So I subtract 3 minus 1 is 2, h minus h is 0, 12k minus 8k is 4k. Then I can use this to find the value of k divided by 4 both sides. So this will be 2 over 4, which can be simplified to a half, 1 over 2. So this will be the value of k. Now let's uh, take one of the equations. I prefer to take the original equation, which is the first and put the value of k there so it's 1 is equal to h plus 8 in place of k we put a half therefore half of 8 is 4 then 4 comes to the left to, uh, to be subtracted by 1 so it will be 1 minus 4 is equal to h therefore h is equal to minus 3 the relationship now is x is equal to minus 3 plus half y so you can see that this was k, this was h. We just replaced them with values. So you don't leave your equation with constants unless you are taught to do so. So this will be the relationship. Second example. So this is from November 2007. If a sales means salary is partly constant and partly varies directly as the total sales he makes for the month. The, if the sales are $10,000, his salary is $550. If the sales are $15,000, his salary is $600. Find his salary if sales are $25,000. So this is application of a partial variation. So here to avoid confusion, let's assign variables. Let salary be S and total sales be T. So we have two conditions here. A sales of ten thousand for a salary of five hundred and fifty dollars and sales of fifteen thousand for a salary of six hundred dollars. We are going to use those to find the uh, values of the constant. So let's write the relationship first, partial relationship. So S is equal to H, which is an independent constant, plus KT. Therefore, let's substitute the first condition is five hundred and fifty for sales of 10,000, another one is 600 for sales of 15,000. Then we put the uh, 
equation with large values on top. So let's subtract 15,000 minus 10,000. This will give me 5,000k. H minus H is 0, 600 minus 550 is 50. Therefore, let's find the value of K in here. We divide by 5,000 both sides. So if we cancel zeros, we are left 5 over 500. 5 into 5 is 1. So it will be 1 over 100 or 0, 0,01 if you decide to use decimals. So K is 1 over 100. Then let's use the first or the second equation to find the value of h. So let's use the second equation with uh, round figures. So 600 is equals to h plus 15,000 over 100. So these two zeros will cancel these two zeros. This will become 150. Therefore 600 equals to h plus 150. Then 150 comes to the left to be subtracted by 600. So our h will be 450. The equation or the relationship now is S, which stands for salary, is equal to 450 plus 1 of 100 T. This uh, apparently means that if total sales are zero, the basic salary is 450. So the question here was find this salary if sales are 25,000. So if T is 25,000, what will be the salary? So we replace T with 25,000, then we cancel the zeros, we are left with 250 a year. So 450 plus 250 is 700. So the salary for sales of 25,000 is $700. So it's a better year of, find, of finding the relationship using the two constants, H and K. So that's how we deal with uh, partial variation. So this is the exercise.